Give me your pot! Whoa! Who are you? I'm fake Pinkie Pie, and I'm here to steal your pot. I need him to fool everyone into thinking I'm you so I can take your place. Uh, well, I don't really, really want to give you gummy, but you can have your own baby alligator. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I mean, that's better than I thought I would get. Here you go. His name's Muggy, and he comes with a little bow. Muggy? <laughs> Here's my new best friend, we'll have so much fun together. Come on, Maggie! Ha <laughs> ha! Phew! That was a close one! So, Gummy, how do you feel about wearing that necklace now? How could this happen to me? Hello everyone, it's Cleo here, and today I'm going to be showing you... These little fakey ponies! Ah! I got these ponies in France when I was on holiday there. You can see everything else I got in France right here. But today we're going to be reviewing these two little dudes. They were three euros from a shop called Jiffy, which is always pretty cheap and has quite a lot of fake toys. But being a pony channel, we've got fake ponies today. Let's get them out of the bag. <laughs> They are so light. Hair's already falling out. And here they both are. Let's take a look at the very obvious Pinkie Pie knockoff first. Okay, so as you can see, she's pretty much exactly the same colour as Pinkie Pie. Her body actually isn't smooth like a regular My Little Pony toy, but it's actually soft and plush like Sylvanian Family's or Calico Critters toy, which is a nice touch, but we'll go over the rest of it as to why this is not so awesome. Her eyes are a very, very light greyish-blue colour, and instead of being printed on like a regular My Little Pony, these have just been stuck on little beads or cabochons that have been stuck on top. Three long black eyelashes that aren't quite in line with the eye there. The same on the other side, but they've been printed a little better. Her ears are quite large, very much like the regular G4 ponies, but they face completely forward. As you can see, they're just flat this way instead of turning back a little bit more like a real horse's, which makes her look more like an imp, I think. Her head sadly is not poseable, and although her pose looks quite cute, from the front she looks kind of flat. Her hair is a lovely warm strawberry pink at the top, and then it has another stripe of white hair down the bottom here. It has two little beads in it, and it's not actually part of the pony's head. It's just been stuck onto this strip of plastic here, and then that's been stuck on top. I've never actually seen a fakey pony be this bad before. The ones I've seen before have always had it in their head, their hair, not just stuck on top. Look, you can even see the glue there. Yeah, that is pretty cheapy. Another point is that this hair is falling out like nobody's business. If I brush it, I fear it will all fall out. However, it is quite soft, and the tail is rooted properly. As you can see, it's not just coming out. I'm not quite sure why they cheaped out on the mane and not the tail. The tail is actually so good, it's like the old G4 ponies. It's silky all the way to the ends, and it's been ages since Hasbro's had a ponytail that nice. So that is quite good about it. The mane, not so much. The tail is a big yes. Okay, so I'm going to be brave here, and I'm going to try and brush her hair. And I'm going to be really gentle with it, I'm not going to be rough. And I think half of it is already falling out, oh my goodness. You can't actually see as well on camera, but almost all of it is coming out, oh no! Oh dear, this is not good. I have to go as far as to say that this is very bad. Very bad, if I brush it anymore I think it's all going to fall out, that's terrible. On top of the fact that the hair falls out, it's also very, very thin. There's hardly any hair there, and I suppose there wouldn't be when all of it's falling out. So let's take a look at the blue one now. She is just the prettiest shade of blue, probably my favourite shade of blue. Her eyes are exactly the same as the pink ones, but the eyelash is falling off here, just like the pink ones. She has the same problem with her little elf ears, and the same problem with being flat and in that same pose. Yeah, not not awesome. She is a bit bigger, but in spite of that, her head still isn't poseable. In fact, nothing about her is. She too has that plush on her, but she's really not very fuzzy. In fact, neither of them is very fuzzy. It's just 
kind of short, the hairs on them. It's not very well done. I said it was like Slovenian Family's character, but it's actually nothing like as good. She has three little beads in her hair, and her mane is a bright blue colour, and then it goes into a candy pink at the bottom here. It too has the same problem with hair falling out, but it doesn't seem to be quite as bad. And the hair also is thicker in the blue section, not the pink section, that's still pretty thin. But the blue section, as you can see here, there's actually quite a lot of it. Once again, we have the same problem with the hair being stuck on top, but on this occasion, they actually haven't gone crazy with the glue gun, and there isn't any residue around the edges here. Well, save for one tiny bit there. But that's gone now. Once again, her tail has been rooted properly, and it is also really soft. Look at that, it's smooth all the way to the ends. Very much like the old My Little Pony, which is very surprising because the mane actually isn't anything like that nice. Look at it, it's a big fuzzy puffball on the ends. But this is smooth as silk. It's in the same colours as the mane, and I'm not quite sure why it's better. I don't suppose anyone will ever know why. It's a mystery. And I don't think I'm even going to try and brush that mane. I think it's all just going to pull out. Going to have to be careful with that. Now, obviously, what's a bit of a shame about them is that neither one has a QG mark on either side. Nothing at all. They're blank flanks. That's a bit of a pity. A problem with these ponies is, of course, I think I've already said, that they are very, very light, which means they don't balance very well. They're okay on here because the velvet sticks to the plush on the bottom of their hooves. But if you had them on a smooth surface, I think they'd just wobble over. The G4 ponies are actually pretty heavy for their size, but these are lighter than LPS. They are so light because they're completely hollow and I think quite brittle plastic. So I think I've said enough bad things about them, so I will say that I think these two are actually pretty cute. I've never really seen fakey ponies that look like this before. They're usually fake moulds of G3 ponies, but these ones are actually kind of unique in the way that they look like G4 ponies, but aren't rip-off moulds. Now, I can't think of any use for these ponies in videos, but I think they'd still be fun to play with, so long as you don't start to brush their hair too vigorously. So what do you think to these fakey ponies? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. Thanks for watching! 